it's Lynn back with another healthy recipe for you from agelesslifestyleafter50.com. So today I have something a little different. I ran into a guy at the grocery store the other day when I was going for strawberries. Underneath them were these little things. I don't know if you know what that is, but that in Mexico is a guayaba. And other places in the world, it's guava. And inside, I'm going to cut this open for you. I saved the last one so that you can see what it looks like. Inside, there is a center with really hard little seeds. So I ended up talking to this guy, and he was telling me to take the guayaba, scoop out the seeds, which I did with a grapefruit spoon, put them into a little blender, and blend up the seeds. Well, when I put them in here, you can't just blend up the seeds. You have to put some water, otherwise they just stick to the top. And even with this, I forgot to get the little strainer. Um, even with this, you're going to have to put them through the little strainer because the seeds are still a bunch of them down at the bottom. Um, so this is a lot of ground up seeds um, with water. So for this, what he said to do was to chop these up in little pieces. So I'm just gonna slice them thinly. Because you're just flavoring the water here. So you're going to put all those in, and then I've got five um, large strawberries that I've cut up. So we're going to put some, I don't know if you can see this, here, here it goes. Okay, I'll figure this out sooner or later, how to do this. I don't know if I move this over and push this back for there, now you can see it. I also used an apple core to core this apple and then I just took each, each section and cut it up into um, three more slices so it would be thinner to get more flavor. And then um, with the sprigs of mint, I'm just going to cut them into smaller ones to just have them moving around a little bit more in this water. So we're going to go ahead and strain this through here, which will color the water, kind of milky, but it won't let these seeds through. This smells wonderful. So you're going to love this. The, the um, guayaba, or guava, um, has a really nice tropical floral uh, smell to it. So when you put this all in here together, and then of course I'll, I'll fill this to the top with water, but it's one whole apple. Um, I will do the other guayaba. So it'll be three guayabas and five large strawberries and I might go upstairs and get some mint. With a strawberry that's this big, um, I'll make three cuts through it that way and then slice it so that it gives you little pieces. And then maybe cut that in half and put it all in here. So then once that's filled with water, you'll have a lot of fruit in there and I don't know if you can see this so it's a little cloudy from the guayaba I will finish this up with the other ones and putting more slices in um, as you drink this it's got so much fruit in it that you can go ahead and put more water in here you could also um, do this with coconut water and maybe make individual glasses. And if you wanted, you could put some rum or vodka in here. 
and make a cocktail out of it. But uh, this will give you your water intake for the day, gives you a lot of good nutritional value from the fruit. You can take the fruit out of there and eat it. When it's got all those flavors blended together with the mint, it'll taste great. So make some flavored water today. This one is mint, apple, guava or guayaba, and strawberries. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon. This is Lynn Pierce from AgesLifestyleAfter50.com. Bye.